Redwork has been enhanced with even more power in version 2.1 when it comes to closest joins in your overall design. Now when using closest join, it will ignore the red work. This becomes valuable when you've digitized objects before and after the red work. In this Halloween design, I've added some fill objects. Let's imagine that I'm going to sew this in two colors of glow-in-the-dark thread and I want all the yellow areas to be lit up. In the sequence docker, you can see that I have some yellow, some red work, some more yellow, and some more red work. I've divided them up because of registration issues when I go to sew this because it's a pretty large design. Now to see what closest join is, I'm going to just hide all the other ones. And you can see the connectors. And notice that Hatch is looking at the shortest distance between two objects and that's where it puts the connector. It's doing this because I have closest join automatically turned on and I can also enable it by selecting my design later and doing Apply Closest Join from the Edit Objects toolbox. Now let's turn on the whole design. Previously, if you applied Closest Join, it would consider the whole design. So if I resequence these objects, and we'll go to the Objects tab here, and I'll just do some random jumbling around here. Hatch has updated all of my connectors because the objects have changed position. But it's only changed the ones that are affected that are not red work objects. So even if I select all, and then I do apply closest join, my red work objects don't get modified. Now this is a good thing because I've actually divided this into two red work objects so that this part stitches and then this other part stitches. And I did that for registration issues. But if it changed the entry and exit points, I could have had a jump between these two objects. With 2.1, now when you specify your entry and exit points for red work, then apply closest join to the entire design, it will ignore the red work. In other words, wherever you place the entry and exit points on the red work, they'll stay there until you either break it apart or you manually move those entry and exit points. I love that Hatch can manage joins automatically and is smart enough to ignore it on the red work objects where I want to choose.